Okay, uh, making a hand paw. Real simple. Take a piece of cardboard, like this. Doesn't matter what it's like. And um, put your hand down on it. And trace around your hand. Just, you know, spread your finger out as far as you can. And see here, I got about a half an inch border. And what you want to do, after you've done this, you notice that that the wrist is narrow, but you don't want you don't want a narrow wrist because you can't get your hand in it. Uh, so you want it probably about as wide as your palm, so you can get your hand in. It. So you figure your fingers and add that's about a half an inch, I think. <laughs> get the little measure out here. That's a half an inch there, and then you want another add add another half inch to that when you cut it out, and you get something that kind of looks like this inside out. And you see that there's, you know, it doesn't, it looks like really fat fingers. So what you're going to do is, is you cut out one side. And it doesn't matter if it's going to be the front or the back. So that's what you cut it out. And then you take it and you lay it on a piece of uncut fur and stitch it together. Now, the reason why you need at least, at least an inch or so of, of edging is because when you sew this together, and you turn this inside out, it, it ain't going to fit. Because what you, this having this extra edging gives you some space to play with. Because when you sew this, when you sew these two things together, you know you're going to have maybe uh, maybe a half an inch of of stuff sticking out. And then you sew it all together, and then turn it inside out, and you'll find that the fingers won't fit because the fingers will be like too long or too short. So and then you turn it back in after you, you know, it's like you cut it out and then you see if it fits or not. And then if it doesn't fit and the fingers are too short, you just come back in here and sew further down into the palm and then come with a pair of scissors and just open it up some more. until it, And you just keep doing that until it fits. And then once you've done that, you, you know, trim off your excess and trim off the excess fur that's not going to be on the inside of the glove. Turn it inside out. You know, it takes a little time to fit it in and out, but eventually you'll get it. It's, you know, this is my s my second um, pause that I use, and don't use a Sharpie pen because Sharpie pens run, and if you're using a light colored fur, well, that'll ruin it. So, it's, it's something like Taylor's chalk or something to mark it out when you're, when you're doing, if you're going to mark on the fur any, any, any time, so. Um, and that's how I made my paws. This is my second pair. The other one I made are like, they go all the way up to my shoulders, and these just are, you know, short ones. These are just, just above my wrists, so when I, when I'm wearing the full suit, uh, the other ones I made as a partial, and, you know, it, 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 you only learn by trying it. You know, anybody who makes fursuits, you know, they'll say the same thing. It's experiment, experiment, experiment until you get until you get something you're happy with and satisfied with. And you know, it's my first suit. The pony's my first suit, and I've been making a making a couple other heads as, as experiment, and I've gotten better at it. And just keep at it. Yeah, good luck. See you at a con sometime. Just look for the pony. Bye.